Why do they have animals in cages here? Uh, I beg your pardon? Ah, you speak, which means you're not a dog. So, what the hell are you doing in my kennels? You just greet people with woof? To like, does that work? You were being awfully. Was she? I will beat her up. You'll be awfully. Or this this guy. Or the like a dog boy. Or this one. You're being awfully harsh on the boy when I arrive. It's the only way to teach him. He behaves worse than the dogs and makes more than this. I I actually have no idea what was going on. Um. Let me see if I can. Oh, I can't like so, speak to the dog. Hmm, because it's locked. Uh, hi. Yeah? I'm not telling them about Scratch. Do you work here? Yeah, I'm caring for the courier dogs. Mahi is my boss. She's mean, but Dad says she'll... Oh, uh, this just makes people small and bitter and brittle. She seems like a bully. She's an educator. She says if somebody doesn't listen, shout louder. That doesn't work. And if they still don't listen, fetch the rod. So it sounds like she shouldn't be teaching Drink dogs. Those. Get back to work. And you, what do you want? This is a private yard. By a dog? They're not for sale. These are courier dogs. Trains follow orders, read maps, and protect their deliveries with their lives. They're worth more than their weight in gold. Uh, I guess we'll see. I think I found one of your dogs, Scratch. Found him, did you? I can't say I'm surprised. Gomwick never kept him on a tight leash. Bring him here, and I'll give him a once-over for you. Check him for worms and so on. Oh, yes, please. I'd love to see him. He's a good dog. We'd both love to see him again. I don't trust you. Mm, let's see. Maybe she's nice to the dogs, but not to people. Maybe Scratch can... Yeah, I was like, maybe Scratch can give me the down low. Oh. <gasps> Scratch! Oh, it's good to see you, boy. Shut up, Dringo, and get back to work. And you've been slacking as well, Scratch. I dog. will literally rip this your arms off. Of Sword Coast couriers. I'll take him off your hands. No, I'm now. literally gonna kill this woman. Um, no. He lives with me. You can't just take him. You shouldn't raise your hand to him like that. I can do whatever I please. He's my dog. No, he's not. Now get out. He's mine. This is a private yard. Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna intimidate. Ooh, wait, Paladin. I suspect she mistreats the dog and you, boy. Is this true? Well, it's not just scratch. She's always hurting. I'm the dogs. gonna rip her arms off. Shut your mouth, Dringo. Though I'm actually Last gonna bring week. Asterion in, and we're gonna kill her if this is the. Uh... uh, I'll give you to the count of ten to leave these kennels. Yeah, I'm intimidating the crap out of this woman. I don't know if it's gonna work, but no, I want. I actually, I think I might just go kill her anyway. If this doesn't work, I'm gonna. I don't care, you know. Oh boy. What's up, bud? How I run my kennels is none of your concern. Take your mutt. And get out of my yard. Oh, okay. As for you, Dringo, get out Did, of my yard. That didn't work? You're finished. But it worked? It didn't work, but it did work. Um. Well, now I feel bad for Dringo. But I also gotta help these dogs. Seems simple enough. Hang on. We'll get this sorted. Very well. Who are you? Ah, a new face. Something to send. 
Don't be shy. Yeah. Well, I was gonna see if I could find something to use against this woman. Pay, there goes pay is marked off two copper pieces at Mira's request. Why is she a terrible person? Uh, also, I didn't mean for him to lose his job. A dragonborn? We don't, we don't see very many of those. Um, how much health does she have? 24? It would be very easy to kill her. Do I want to do it, or do I want to have Asteria do it? I know this is me, again, like, going above and beyond, like, doing the judge, justice, or whatever, you know, like, judge, jury, executioner, but if you abuse dogs and you abuse people, like, I don't know, man, you out. Like, at least in the video game, right? Like, I don't know, people who abuse animals, especially in real life, I think, don't. Something's very wrong with you. Like, I don't think you deserve rights <laughs> really <laughs> leveled up all right well is anybody going to get mad at us nope I guess now. not. What path lies before me? Now I will unlock the doors and talk to the dogs. Wait, no, come here. No. Well, I wanted to talk to the dogs, but I guess that's more probably more trouble than I probably shouldn't have done because they're courier dogs, and maybe they would be better treated once she was dead. But. Ew, I just realized I probably made things way worse for the postal system. <laughs> it's fine. The dogs didn't like being here. Welcome to Sword Coast Couriers. To send and to serve. Delivery not guaranteed. Odd. Not guaranteed. Well, we've had to change the policy. Hard to send letters by road when there's a rampage and army of fanatics bearing down on you. I'll tell you which left me in a right pickle. In a right pickle! <laughs> I can by pigeon, but now something's attacking them and all. Become a postmaster, Danzo. It'll be easy. Nobody mentions having to spend your evenings hunting for pigeon carcasses, do they? Oh, man. Uh, yeah, idea where the birds went missing? Not the foggiest. Normally they fly true as an elven arrow. Something nearby is snatching them. I can tell you that much. Uh, I don't know what he's being sneaky about. I'd be happy to take a look. Well, uh, if it's not too much trouble, uh, I'd be much obliged. Any letters you find, bring them back to me. Unopened, of course. And there's some gold in it for I am missing something here. I hate when I fail the inside check and I know that I failed it. I guess you kind of do that in Dungeons and Dragons, like, on tabletop too, right? Where it's like, make an inside check. And they're like, ooh, I'm level 10. And they're like, Mm, well, it's it. You're like, oh, I got a 10. And they're like, well, it appears that everything is fine and normal. And you're like, ah, <laughs> you know. Um, so I didn't get anything. Elemental weapon. Didn't get anything fancy at level 10. All right. Gail's still barefoot because I gave his boots away. <laughs> Eee. You got a feet, but I didn't get one. Alright, where are we at? I think mobile would be good for him. I am... Uh, I feel like I did a bad decision, but I don't know. If you abuse dogs, if Scratch doesn't like you, you're, you're dead to me. You know what I mean? 
Oh, hello. Pigeons are very sensitive. Oh yeah? I love your hair. They can't fly straight if they're disturbed. Okay. Are there pigeons up here? Oh, there are pigeons up here. <gasps> Pigeon, tell me your secrets. I can speak to you. <laughs> A little wet under the wing for our unit. The commander will soon straighten you out. Oh, yeah? I've no need of a wing, man. Uh, Commander Lightfeather will give you your briefing. Where's Commander Lightfeather? Name and rank, quickly now. There's a war Why are they all British? <laughs> the pigeons are British. <laughs> uh, against the Absolute? I know, I'm fighting in it. The Absolute? Puppycock. Enemy propaganda designed to confuse simple minds. Oh, yeah? Not your fault you fell for it. <laughs> you need a strong leader like myself. Myself? To wood under the trees. <laughs> I am Commander Lightfeather, leader of the finest aerial communication regiment this side of the Chionza. Okay. State your purpose, ground walker. I don't have all day. Mm, let's see, let's see, let's see. I heard some of your officers have gone missing recently. What happened to them? Oh, uh, damned awful business. Fine fires, a lot of them. Gone without a trace. Intelligence is in short supply, but we know our enemies flanked us on the west side. Got one rooftop away. Oh, yeah? They're avoiding the whole area. I won't lose one more beak to the blighter. If you pass uh, that way, beware the sign of the featherless wings. From that rooftop, none So, return. bat wings. So, so a bat-winged creature. Outlander, enlisted avi- I'm glad Halson's inspired by that. Enlisted an avian wing. I, I see, I see. Wow, what did he get? Air Myrmidon, what is that? Earth Myrmidon, Fire Myrmidon. It's like a Myrmidon, it's like a warrior. Oh my gosh, he gets a dinosaur shape! You get a dinosaur shape! Oh my gosh, you make two more additional attacks after making an unarmed strike while in wild shape. Druids are OP. Uh, sure, let's do poison spray. He looks ridiculous, though, with the metal, the metal gloves. Uh, okay, so west, where we are here, the west roof. And he said, but he said not even one rooftop away. So I think it must be on top of the building here? Either that, or they're talking about going to the top of the temple. Oh, oh so I didn't realize it was that one selected. I'm like, what's this? So it is the temple roof. Find me. Okay, okay. Well, he's like, not one roof over. And I'm like, does that mean one roof over or not one roof over? <laughs> like, am I, what does that mean? Can I read it? I'm going to read all these letters. A charitable nobleman is renowned far beyond the walls of Baldur's Gay. Also, I, I wanted to ask the pigeon, like, who does he think we're fighting against? If not the absolute, you know? These walls that would preserve my family from the rage of the absolute cult, but we could, but could we but gain admittance? I beg you, please let us in. Um, also, this is definitely like a, an inside war tactic, right? Where it's like you control the flow of information, so messing up like the career lines and the flow of information is is key, right? Oh, so people are trying to get hired and tried to get in, you know? 
Evasive answers, suspected cult affiliation, lack of visible means of support. And who decides that? Dadders and uh, momers. Dadders and momers. You can't believe our luck in getting you admitted to Provost as a boarding student. Keeps you inside the gate's walls until the New Year's pass. Don't worry, we're safe as long as the steel watch is here. Mommers. Certainly, certainly a way to say that. Okay, so we've got some info. I didn't even think about asking the pigeons. I, I think you cannot play this game without speaks with animals. Like, truly, legitimately. Post house dog log? Dog logs. No fleas, lots of nodding. Big bark still, good boy. Scratch still gone, miss you boy. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't see the I didn't see the boy. I was like, I'll help you, you know, like I'll 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 help you get a job or something. Like I feel really bad. Like my intimidation didn't work, but I still kinda got the the thing I wanted, which was she didn't bother me about Scratch and she was going to stop bothering the boy but it didn't go well you know there's actually, was I think it was, was it World War II, there's like a whole big history thing about pigeon, like war pigeons like the use of pigeons in wars and I think it was World War II where it really became a big thing, like, there was a museum I went to once that had a whole exhibit about like the use of war pigeons and it was, re it was really interesting, honestly, you know? Oh, so Beaky is a pigeon that has worked with the Duke? Maybe there's something there, but we don't, we don't know a Beaky. We haven't met one yet. Is this just, this just goes outside? Yeah. Well, I've definitely made things worse by letting the dogs go. Who who let the dogs out? It was I. How do you even get onto the roof of this building? What? Perception failed. Excuse me. Perception of what? Ooh, so I'm just leveling up Will real quick because I brought him on. And he can have Mage Hand, which is going to be very useful. I think if we try to get into Baldur's Gate, we should try to use Will to get in. But I'm not sure if that'll, like, like play our hand for us, is kind of, you know? I don't know why Halsin was apparently... I, I, I kind of switched to Starian out in case it was just a matter of what, like, we had all already triggered it and failed. And Halsin was just, like, one that hadn't triggered it yet. But it does not appear to be the case. It was somewhere in the doorway. There's secrets in this courier's office that I'm missing. Alas, but anyway. I guess I'll, after all the shenanigans and chaos I'm causing to the postal system, I'm gonna go ahead and go. I'm not sure if this is an intro or not. Unfortunately, I just realized when I went to go eat lunch and I came back, I realized that I didn't save my game for the last like 30 minutes. The last thing was this quick save in this conversation. So I kind of want to die a little bit um, because I was desperately trying not to do any reloading in this game. And now I have to go talk to the pigeons again which is not, I think that was all I did, and I murdered this woman, and I did a bunch of leveling up. <laughs> anyway, let's see if it changes, I guess. Like, I guess if I succeed this time, yay me? Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay, same outcome. Sick. I guess I'll talk to this guy really quick and see if any of the insight ah, stuff place. changes. Something to send? Don't be shot. Welcome to Sword Coast Couriers. To send, well, I am Ted. Become a postmaster, Danzo. It'll be easy. Failed the insight check again. Nobody mentions having to spend your not the fog yet. Oh, that's curious. What's 
Is it outside or up above? I act I was trying to just um go up the stairs. But it looks like it's either outside or up above. Whatever this check that I succeeded on is. I also was curious to see if, if whatever was gonna happen would happen over here, but it didn't. Like, wait, wait, maybe I moved the bunk bed? Nope, I just lay down in it. Cool. What a weirdo. I don't... I... So I've come out, right, to, like, have a Hysterian kill this woman. And I was like, why is he carrying a book? But I think I, like, exited out. So, like, he usually has been reading that evil necromancer tome, right? That I gave him. And I think, yeah, I think it just came out with him while he was, uh... Because I went so fast. Like, just, like, hitting space bar and going really fast to get him out, you know? Hmm. I closed the door... The front door so that the dog couldn't get out. Come here. But I can't seem to talk to it. The other one also just kind of disappeared. Yeah, okay, you can't seem to talk to him. Alright, well, curry a dog, be free. You were treated poorly. Off you go. I don't know if it just went through the door already or what, if it like phased through. Uh, anyway. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go try to look at this, whatever was over here, without getting caught by anybody. Caught by any cutscenes or shenanigans. <clears throat> Was it? Oh, this? Sword Coast Courier's Key. What? What? Oh! I like clicked over here randomly and I was like la 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 apparently that's the one that opens that door that's so weird like why 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 I guess you could sneak it what's the point of sneaking into the couriers though especially cuz the guy is up with the mail you know like I just I am I am so confused as to the purpose of why that door was locked and why unlocking it is a big deal. Um, okay, I think the only thing I had left was leveling people up. Like, it's like, oh, you can change it now, isn't it? No, I just want to, like, I want, I'm going to let the dogs out. I'm going to, whatever shenanigans happens from that happens. And whatever shenanigans happens from killing a woman who abuses animals is also just going to happen, you know? I'm, I'm dedicated to my path for the most. I'm sure there will be some things that I'm willing to re-roll on. But for now, I am, uh, I am content. I'm gonna ask about this. Maybe it has something to do. I'm not scared of the authorities. But it would be stupid to pick a fight with the fists. Right? Well, yeah. Also, they're talking about the steel watch is guarding the gate. Ever wanted to meet the most cowardly dragonborn in the realms? I fell for the blockhead. Well, oh, that's just me. You should not be so mean to your partner. What do you mean, coward? What do you mean the worst thing that's gonna happen? Do you not do you not see all the things going on? There's some shenanigans and chicanery going on. The worst is gonna happen, you get dragged off for experimentation. I think this is where we left off, so hopefully like, like I was looking at this and I was like, oh yeah, we gotta go over there. So for now, 
This might be an addendum to the video, but yay. <laughs> I hope uh, I hope I didn't miss anything. <laughs> First, I want to give a shout out to my Acorn Tier patron. Thank you so much, Fame, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to my Sapling Tier patron, Reese Galito. Thank you so much for your support. I very much appreciate it as well. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my Forest Tier patron, who has truly gone above and beyond in his support of me and the channel. And I truly cannot thank you all enough. Um, so thank you all again. And I will see you in the next one.